Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Britta and you are watching Bits with Britta. Hello and thank you so much for watching today. If you are new, please consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon for notifications. You are watching Bits with Britta. This channel is all about the bits and pieces of my life, my weight loss journey, all about being a mom and home life. Today's video is going to be about fasting. To fast or not to fast? Hmm. Today I'm gonna talk about my journey with fasting. I started my ketogenic diet journey in August of 2019. I'm going to go through how I've lost this weight using fasting in different regimens. From August 2019 to November in 2019, I used keto with intermittent fasting. If you are not familiar with intermittent fasting, that means that you fast from dinner until the next day when you're going to eat again. There are different ways that you can intermittent fast in terms of hours of eating and hours of fasting. I started out using 16-8. That means I fasted for 16 hours and I my eating window was for eight hours. I got better at it and I was able to fast for 18 and then my window of eating was six hours. And then finally I got to 20 hours of fasting and four hour window for eating. So generally I would fast until one o'clock or sometimes two o'clock and then I would eat dinner at five or six. I would do intermittent fasting during the week and then I would only do strict keto and eat three small meals a day on the weekends. I lost 40 pounds from August to November using keto with intermittent fasting. It was easy, it, was, it worked well for me, and I was successful at it. Now let's talk about benefits of fasting. Some of the benefits of fasting in terms of intermittent fasting, when you have a window of eating and a window of fasting, some of the benefits are obviously helping with weight loss, reducing insulin resistance, and that is something that's really important. People that are obese or morbidly obese are very likely on their way to type 2 diabetes and their bodies are insulin resistant. And I was definitely very close to that. I was definitely having problems with insulin and I was definitely insulin resistant. So it lowers your risk of type 2 diabetes, reduces inflammation in the body. I am a violinist and my fingers used to hurt with all the playing that I do and I don't have that anymore. I also hurt my shoulder a few years ago and I don't have any pain in my shoulder anymore. So it definitely improves inflammation. And it helps with brain health and definitely with mental clarity. You are so clear headed when you are using intermittent fasting. It's a wonderful advantage. Then through November of 2019 through February of 2020, I just strictly did keto. And in this time around the holidays and around Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of the parties that you go to and all of the things during the holiday season, I ended up doing lazy keto or you could call it dirty keto where I didn't track I just simply stayed within my net carbs of less than 20. I definitely lost a lot slower this way. I lost 15 pounds in those months. Then in March of 2020 through April of 2020, I started getting back into writing things down and putting it in my carb manager. I was losing weight and using intermittent fasting twice a week. And I lost four pounds in that month. By the end of April, I was ready for a change. We have been home with this stay at home order and I needed something new to jumpstart my weight loss. I've now been using alternate day fasting. Alternate day fasting is when you have eating days and you have fasting days. There are two ways to do this. With alternate day fasting, I have been using the regimen of fasting throughout the day and then eating one meal in the evening and then the next day I eat our, a regular keto diet, three small meals or two small meals within the day. And then the next day is another fasting day and I go all the way until the evening and then eat a dinner. I eat 
two meals in one day, and then the next day I eat one meal in a day, and then the next day I eat two meals in a day, and so on and so forth. So far, I've jump-started my weight loss again by losing six pounds already just by alternate day fasting. It's been a little difficult getting through the hunger. But I've gotten used to drinking throughout the day uh, some clear liquids or some tea, and I've gotten to the point where I really like alternate day fasting. So let me go into a little bit more specifics of what alternate day fasting can do. There's two ways to alternate day fast. The first way, you eat before you go to bed, and the next day you don't eat all day long. You continue to drink fluids throughout the day to keep the hunger down. This would be considered a 36 hour fast or if you continued your fast when you wake up the next day and not eat till noon, it would be basically a 40 hour fast. Then when you wake up, you eat your regular diet and you eat in moderation. The other way to alternate day fast is to eat your last meal before bed. The next day you fast 18 to 24 hours, depending on how long you'd like to fast for, and then you eat one small meal. This one small meal should be about 25% of what you would normally eat on a given day. The next day after that, you would eat your normal diet and eat in moderation. With me, I like to eat ketogenically, so when I'm fasting, I make sure that I fast all the way to when I want to stop, and then I eat with a ketogenic lifestyle in mind when it's my eating days. What about benefits of alternate day fasting? Alternate day fasting can help, definitely help you with reducing belly fat. It also helps with the same inflammation in the body. It can reduce your cholesterol, the upregulation of ketones, so you are in a higher state of ketosis, which means you are burning fat and then you end up having more success with autophagy. Autophagy is basically the recycling of cells, so getting your cells stronger and using those cells in a more efficient manner. Benefits of autophagy is younger looking skin and anti-aging. So I've basically done three different ways of using these diets, and I've really enjoyed all three. I really love intermittent fasting. I think it works really well. And so far, I have had some great results with alternate day fasting, and I'm gonna keep going with that. I think it's important during the holidays to not be gaining those extra pounds, so I thought that, so doing lazy keto was really important to me, and it certainly helped me not gain pounds during that time. If you are on a ketogenic diet, please, comment below and tell us how you are using keto or if you're using alternate day fasting or intermittent fasting. Please share. I'd love to know what you are doing. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you are well. Take care. Bye guys.